Hey guys, I'm Akash and I welcome you all on Pavli. So the topic for today's video is automatically send WhatsApp messages to new MailChimp subscribers. Now suppose guys you are using MailChimp as an email marketing application and you want to send a welcome message on WhatsApp to all the subscribers you are adding to your contact list in MailChimp. Now to do so, you have two different methods. First method is you manually compose a WhatsApp message and send to the thousands of subscribers one by one. But this manual process is very much repetitive and time consuming. So to solve this problem, I came up with a second method which is setting up an automation. Now you must be thinking what kind of automation. An automation guys by which whenever a new subscriber will be added in our MailChimp contact list, automatically a WhatsApp message will be sent to their own number. Interesting right? Now you must be thinking what is how you can set up this automation. So to make this happen, we will be using Pavli Connect, which is an automation and integration software. Now what is the actual step by step guide to create this automation and how you can set up this automation by yourself? To know this, you have to come with me to my screen. So as you can see, here we are on the Pavli Connect dashboard. Now to reach this dashboard, you just have to go to your browser and search for pabbly, pavli.com slash connect. And after reaching to the landing page of Pavli Connect, by clicking on sign up free, you can create your free Pavli Connect account in just two minutes. Or if you already have an account, just click on sign in. And after reaching this dashboard, you just have to click on create workflow. Now it is asking us to give this workflow a name. So for example, I'll name this workflow as MailChimp to WhatsApp. You can give any name as per your requirement. I'll name it as MailChimp to WhatsApp and click on create. Now we can see that a workflow has been created over here. And in this workflow, we can see two different windows. First one is trigger window, second one is action window. So triggers and actions are basically those two concepts, those two principles on which this whole automation works on, where the trigger says when this happens and the action says do this. So let's begin with our trigger application. So the idea here is first, we want to collect the details of the data of every new subscriber who is adding to our MailChimp contact list inside Pavli Connect. For that, in Choose app, we will search for MailChimp. And after selecting MailChimp, in trigger event, we will select new subscriber. So as we select our trigger event, Pavli Connect gave us a webhook URL. Now using this webhook URL, we will connect MailChimp and Pavli Connect. For that, we will just copy this webhook URL and then go back to the our MailChimp account dashboard. So this is the dashboard of my MailChimp account. And here on the left side, we can see an option named as audience. Just click on audience. And as you reach your audience dashboard, on the right side, there is a drop down over here named as manage audience. Click here, scroll down and we have a settings option over here. Click on settings. After clicking on settings, just scroll down and you can see an option named as webhook over here. So just click on webhooks. And then here we can see all the webhook URLs I have added in my MailChimp account. Just click on the right side at create new webhook button. And we just have to paste the webhook URL which Pavli Connect gave us over here. After pasting the webhook URL, it is asking us what type of update should we send. So MailChimp is asking what type of updates we want MailChimp to send on this webhook URL to the Pavli Connect. So we want to receive the data of every new subscriber added. So we will select that uh, the event as subscribes and unselect all the other events. Then it is asking us only send updates when a change is made by a subscriber by an account admin. So we will select these two and click on save. And after clicking on save, we can see that we have successfully connected our MailChimp account with Pavli Connect. Now the details of every new subscriber added in our MailChimp account will be received here inside Pavli Connect. So we will go back to Pavli Connect, click here at recapture webhook response. And after that, we have to create a dummy subscriber inside our MailChimp contact list. For that, I have already created a MailChimp form signup form, which is like this. So whenever a user fills this form and clicks on subscribe button, that user is automatically added to my MailChimp contact list. So I'll just enter a na the name of a user, for example, Heather, first name is Heather, last name is Khan, Heather Khan. Email addresses, Heather123, a dummy email address, guys. 
at the rate gmail dot com, and this is the mobile number. So this is the very same mobile number, guys, on which we will send a WhatsApp message to newly added contact, and it is saying us to add the country code nine one as well with this mobile number. So I'll add the country code as well, and click on subscribe button. So as I click on subscribe, Hader Khan, a uh, subscriber with this name, will be automatically added to my Mailchimp contact list. Click on subscribe. So it is saying uh, that the subscription is confirmed. Now we will go back to our Mailchimp account, go to audience page, and click on all contacts. And here at all contacts page, we will see Hader Khan is the name of the subscriber which we have recently added. So a new subscriber is added to our Mailchimp contact list, and this very same subscriber will instantly We will receive the response of this very same subscriber instantly inside Public Connect as well. So in Public Connect, we can see there is a response over here under Response Receive, and in this response, we have received the details of the same subscriber, same name of the subscriber, Hyder Khan, same email address, and same phone number, same WhatsApp number. So guys, the step one, the part one of setting up this automation is successfully completed. We have collected the data of newly uh, added subscriber in our Mailchimp account inside Public Connect. Now we want to send this subscriber a WhatsApp message. For that, we will scroll down, come to our action window, and here in Choose App, we will search for WhatsApp Cloud API. WhatsApp Cloud API, and in Action event, we will select select Send Template Message. Click on Connect. Select Add New Connection. So now Public Connect is asking us some details to connect our WhatsApp Cloud API account with Public Connect. So here I want to tell you that I have already created my WhatsApp Cloud API account. If you have not created your WhatsApp Cloud API account yet, we have a separate dedicated video on how you can create it. So the link of that video will be in the description box below. So I'll suggest you to go to that video, watch that video, and so that you can create your own WhatsApp Cloud API account. And after creating an account, you will reach to the app dashboard of your WhatsApp Cloud API account. And at this app dashboard page, you can see the temporary access token, the phone number ID, and WhatsApp business account ID. These are basically the same details which Public Connect asks us to connect WhatsApp Cloud API account: the token, the phone number ID, and WhatsApp business account ID. So from this page, from this app dashboard page, we'll copy the phone number ID, go back to Public Connect, and paste it over here. Then we'll go back, copy the business account ID, and paste it over here at this business account ID field. Then it is asking us for a token, and the token says enter system user generated permanent token as explained here. So guys, the token which we get on this page is a temporary access token, and this token will expire every twenty four hour. But there is a way, guys, you can generate a permanent access token which will never expire. Now to know this, uh, we will go back to Public Connect, and in this help text, there is a link over here. Just click on here, and it will redirect you to a page on our forum. And at this page, you can see all the details regarding WhatsApp Cloud API, how you can set up your own WhatsApp Cloud API account, and how you can generate your permanent access token, which will never expire. So from this page, you can get all the help you require to generate the access token and create your WhatsApp Cloud API account. And after generating the access token. You just have to paste that access token over here and click on save. I have already generated my access token and made the connection, so I will click on select existing connection and click on save. Now, after connecting our WhatsApp Cloud API account, it is asking us for the template name. Now, you must be thinking, what are templates? So, templates are basically some pre-defined, pre-created WhatsApp messages which we are willing to send to our new subscriber. So to avoid spamming of messages on WhatsApp, we have to create first create some template messages inside WhatsApp Cloud API, and we have to get those template approved from Facebook or should I say Meta. And after the approval, we can use that template message to send WhatsApp message to a newly added subscriber. So in the drop down below uh, in template name, you can see there are plenty of templates we have which I have already created inside my WhatsApp Cloud API account. I'll show you. We'll go back to this app dashboard page. Scroll, scroll down, and in step two, we have a hyperlink over here. Just click on that, and it will take us to the WhatsApp manager. Basically, that message template page. So you can see here; these are all the template messages which I have already created inside my WhatsApp Cloud API account. If you want, you can also create your own template by cre clicking on Create Message Template button. 
just click on that this button and it will ask you few details about your template like the category of the message is it a transactional message a marketing message or one time password for example i will select transactional message then we have to give this template a name for example i'll name this template as test1 and select the language of your whatsapp message template which you are willing to send then click on continue and at this page we have to actually create the body or the whatsapp message which we are willing to send so here you can either had add a header file like a image video pdf document or some kind of header text then in body you can and you have to enter the actual whatsapp message which we are willing to send or you can also send a footer button message or you can add a button on your whatsapp message and here in body you can also add some variables so for example i want to add the name of the newly added subscriber after hello but the name of the subscriber will be changing for every new message which i will be sending so we will just click at this add variable button and you can see a number is added here in curly braces double curly braces so basically this is a body field this is a variable or a dynamic tag which we can change for every sending message you can add multiple dynamic tags multiple variables in your whatsapp message as well as per your requirement so this is in this way you can create your own template then you have to just add some sample data which you are willing to enter in places of these body fields over here and then just click on submit after clicking on submit the template is sent for approval and after the approval you can send messages using this template so guys this is the way how you can generate your own template message and out of all these template message which i have created the template which we will be using in this video is named as new lead sign up so this is the template template message which i have created so as you can see this is the kind of message i am willing to send to the new subscriber adding to my mailchimp contact list hi akash means after akash you can see i have added a body field over here in the template message so i will enter the name of the newly added subscriber over here in the whatsapp message thanks for signing up welcome to pabli we are so lucky to have you as a precious user we you will be among the first to hear about new arrivals big events and special offers if you need any support don't hesitate to reach out with questions we would love to hear from you regards and in in this body guys you can see there is a, another variable at after welcome to so this is double curly after double in double curly braces i have added the number 2 so uh, we can change the name of the organization over as well in this template message which i have created if i want so guys basically this is a kind of template which i have created so new underscore lead underscore sign up we have to select this template message inside pabli connect new underscore lead underscore sign up and after selecting template message language code and template id these two, two things are detected automatically so we don't have to make any changes over here then we will scroll down and it is asking us for the recipient mobile number now at the field of recipient mobile number we have to enter the name or number of the mobile number or the whatsapp number of the subscriber to whom we are willing to send whatsapp message so we the number mobile number is received us by us in the response from mailchimp which we have received in our trigger application response so from mailchimp we have received the details of the newly added subscriber and in those details we have also received the mobile number and entered by the subscriber in the sign up form so this is the mobile number now we will map this very same mobile number over here in this field and the process of mapping is very simple we will just simply click on this field and in the drop down below we can see all the responses which we have received from mailchimp and out of all these responses we will select the response of mobile number so in this way we have mapped a mobile number as well and the help text over here says enter the recipient mobile number with country code without plus sign so we have to enter the whatsapp number of the subscriber with country code of the uh, subscriber but without the plus sign usually we add the plus sign with country code in the mobile numbers but here it is asking us to remove the plus sign so just make sure that you don't add the plus sign with country code of uh, with the, in the mobile number field after uh, entering the recipient mobile number it is asking us body field 1 body field 2 so these are the same two body fields guys which i have created in my template message so in place of body field 1 i wanted to add the name of the newly added subscriber so we will go back to pabli connect click at this field and use the same process of mapping over here from the drop down i'll enter the first name of the newly added subscriber so hi there was the first name so i'll map that data 
सो फर्स्ट नेम ऑफ द एवरी न्यू सब्सक्राइबर हु विल बी एडेड इन माई मेल चिम्स सब्सक्राइबर लिस्ट एंड द सेम नेम विल बी एडेड इन द व्हाट्सएप मैसेज एज वेल नाउ आफ्टर मैपिंग द नेम इन द सेकेंड बॉडी फील्ड वी वॉन्टेड टू एंटर द नेम ऑफ अवर ऑर्गेनाइजेशन सो फॉर एग्जाम्पल आई एंटर द नेम ऑफ माई ऑर्गेनाइजेशन एज फैबली सो दिस वैल्यू विल नेवर चेंज सो आई एल जस्ट मैनली टैपिंग दिस वैल्यू इंस्टेड ऑफ मैपिंग द डेटा सो आफ्टर मेकिंग द कनेक्शन एंड मैपिंग ऑल द रिक्वायर्ड डिटेल्स वी जस्ट हैव टू क्लिक ऑन सेव एंड सेंड टेस्ट रिक्वेस्ट नाउ एज वी क्लिक ऑन सेव एंड सेंड टेस्ट रिक्वेस्ट वी हैव रिसीव अ रिस्पॉन्स ओवर हियर एंड दिस रिस्पॉन्स सीम्स टू बी अ पॉजिटिव रिस्पॉन्स टू अस दिस रिस्पॉन्स शोज दैट अ व्हाट्सएप मैसेज विद अवर सेलेक्टेड टेम्पलेट इज बीन सेंड ऑन दिस नंबर सो लेट्स चेक द व्हाट्सएप अकाउंट ऑफ दिस नंबर and yes guys as you can see here we have received a whatsapp message on the very same number which we have entered while making the form submission for a new subscriber so this message says hi heather means the name of the subscriber which he has added he or she has added in the form submission thanks for signing up welcome to pabli we are so lucky to have you as a precious user you will be among the first to hear about new arrivals big events and special offers if you need any support don't hesitate to reach out with questions we would love to hear from you regards so this is the very same message guys same message template which we have created inside whatsapp cloud api and then guys we can see that the, here it has the same values which we have mapped or entered the same name of the user and the same organization name which we have entered inside pabli connect while creating the workflow so we have successfully created this workflow guys now let just let's just test this workflow once we will go back to our form refresh this form and then we will be entering a detail uh, details of a new user and add a new subscriber to this list okay so let me enter the details of a new user for example named as kunal kapoor kunal123 at rate gmail dot com and i'll enter the mobile number after entering these details just click on subscribe and we will see a user named as kunal kapoor is been subscribed or added to our mailchimp contact list now after doing the form submission or adding the user we will see that the same user is added here in our mailchimp contact list let's refresh this page so we can see that a user named kunal kapoor is successfully added in our contact list and automatically instantly as the user submits the form a whatsapp message will also be sent to his very same number which he has entered so we'll go to the whatsapp account and here we can see the user has user has received a whatsapp message and in this message after hi we can see that the name of the user is present over here means whatever the name user will enter in the form submission the whatsapp message with same name will be sent to them so we have tested this automation in real time guys that the automation which we have created is working successfully now let's let's just get back to pabli connect and understand how, what are the steps we followed to create this automation so first we created the workflow and in trigger application we selected mailchimp and the trigger event was new subscriber after that guys we have added the webhook url inside pa our mailchimp account and connected pabli connect with mailchimp and then we created a new contact inside mailchimp account so that the details or the data of newly added contact inside our mailchimp account can be collected in pabli connect then we send the very same data to whatsapp cloud api so we can send a welcome message on whatsapp to the very same newly added contact so not just these application guys you can integrate plenty of other application using pabli connect and guys one more important thing you can clone this very same workflow with the link present in the description box below so by clicking on on that clone link you can clone this very same workflow inside your own pabli connect account and use this workflow for free if you need any kind of help or have any queries you can ask them on forum.pabli.com and you can check pabli connect pricing at this link so if you this video was helpful to you you can like this video don't forget to share it with others and to keep getting such content on automation and integration you can subscribe to pavli thank you have a nice day